with me. He uh, thoroughly enjoys the sounds of Bon Iver. Uh, welcome to the studio, mate. How are you? Good, very well, thank well, you. I'll say welcome uh, back to Radioactive.fm. Yes. Uh, we were looking at, back at our archives, and indeed Solomon Crook has performed uh, uh, before here in uh, the Orcon uh, live room. I think it was before it became the Orcon live room, back in May last year. Yeah. A long time a ago. Now, you came in with a full band. Yes. And um, this time around, of course, you're here all by yourself uh, doing oh, uh, doing a solo presentation here on the Amplifier Show. So welcome and thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, Solomon Crook, of course, uh, you um, currently uh, going to embark on a tour, which we're going to be talking uh, very, very soon. Uh, you've got a brand new tune, uh, a video with it, I believe. A live video yeah. coming out. Cool. All yes. right. Well, you, we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, perhaps we just, just uh, kick off with a song, eh? What do you reckon? All right. That sounds good. All, All right. right. Um, this first one is called Eastside. It's, it's a kind of it's a song about uh, my home on the Coromandel. All right. Take it away. <laughs> Living on the east side, running wild, growing dope up the back of mama stacking cash. Scared the bills, empty pills, screams from the land star. Everybody knows it's the new place to score. A volley curse was heard, and Jenny she pulled the bus, left them looking a little strange with blown out brains. Stains cover her pretty wide skirt again, living life on the east side, living life on the east side. Back of a broken car, life short to live when I burn the stars. Oh, burn the stars. Oh, burn the stars. Oh, burn the stars. You call me on the weekend. But I did not know the price of a desire life. Living life on the east side, what went wrong? Living life on the east side, growing through the ponds, ripping blue light our eyes, stolen car. Cause I'm burning on the old tree line Living life on the east side Living life on the east side Burning money in the back of a broken car Life short to live When I burn the stars Oh, burn the stars Oh, burn the stars Oh, burn the stars Neon's burning on the old tree line Neon's burning on the old tree line Neon's burning on the old tree line Ay, 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 Living life on the east side Living life on the east side Burning money in the back of a broken car Life short to live when I burn the stars Oh, burn the stars Oh, burn the stars Oh, burn the stars Neon's burning on the old tree line Burning on the old tree line Burning on the old tree line What a lucky boy, eh? What a lucky boy. I get serenaded every other <laughs> week by awesome musicians coming into the studio. 
Solomon Crook in the studio with me this morning. Or should I take officially, technically afternoon. Uh, and if you want to watch live, we are broadcasting on the Facebook page. Go to the Radioactive Facebook page and you can see um, us right here in the studio as we perform live and direct, as we perform, should I say. <laughs> as Solomon Crook does all the work and I just sit here and enjoy. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, yeah, originally from the Coromandel, you moved um, around a little bit before moving uh, here to Wellington. Um, how did your trails uh, lead you to this big little city of Wellington? Um, I guess I was at kind of at a point when I was finishing up high school and I was just kind of like, what do I do with my life, you mm -hmm. know? As, as, as you do. Yeah, Everybody yeah. Everybody is, is meant to have their life sorted and know what they're doing. Yeah. Did you? No, no, definitely not. But I figured I wanted to um, do music and mm -hmm. I wanted to be in a place where... There's a lot of creativity and um, a lot of opportunities, so I figured I'd move to Wellington, and then I decided to take up the commercial music degree yep. up at Massey, and I did that for three years, and um, now I'm here, I guess. Yeah. Were, were you always uh, ooh, from a musical family? You grew up no, with music? No, not really. Um, obviously, a lot of music being like played on like vinyl and like stereo systems around the house, but yeah. um, what was mum and dad listening to? A, a varied collection. Um, We've got some great records. We've got Bob Marley, Legend, like that's one of my favorites. Um, and then Elton John, Eric Clapton, um, <laughs> the Dire Straits. <laughs> that's, like I was thinking, that's the classic Kiwi collection. Bob Marley, and then some some good rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, it was good, good influence. And so, what led you to? Uh, oh, was is the guitar your first uh, love? Yes. What What led you to picking that up? It was actually. Um, there was a guitar just lying around the house because both my sisters had um, tried to learn guitar and kind of not pursued it. So there was one lying around in the summer before I went to start at Intermediate. Yeah. Um, I kind of just picked it up and started noodling and there was like a song book. And I think I played like Mary H Had a Little Lamb for like the whole summer. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> seeing how fast I could play it. <laughs> I think everybody needs to do that. Find a really, really simple yeah. Uh, yeah. song and just thrash it out. Yeah, well, it's so satisfying because yeah. it's so easy and then you just, you think you're really good mm -hmm. and then that. <laughs> how, 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 does you, how do you sisters feel about your 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 musical career now? Oh, very supportive, very yeah? supportive. Um, yeah. No. I mean, I think they, they wish they did it sometimes as well, but um, overall, I think they're pretty stoked. Yeah. It's never too late, sisters. Yeah, yeah, Never yeah. too late. Yeah. Um, you're the youngest? Yes, I'm the yep. youngest, so two older sisters. Nice. Yeah. Um, and so here in Wellington now, you did the musical degree. Um, what's the most interesting thing that you got out of that? I think it was just meeting a whole bunch of like-minded people, you know? Yeah. Being within that community of um, artists and lecturers who... Um, Everyone has so much to share and different ideas and different um, perspectives on music. Yeah. And it was a really invaluable thing, I think. Now, that's at Massey, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I've had um, a lot of uh, uh, Massey students come in, and um, it's great because they collaborate. Yes. Uh, and yeah. and it's almost like a, a hub of creativity, of, of bur burgeoning talent, of, yeah. of various um, uh, styles and... Um, whether it be uh, uh, video, whether it be uh, e editing, whether it be doing graphics uh, or music itself, um, mm. writing, producing, um, mm. engineering, mixing, you know, all the, mm. all the production stuff. Um, and it's a, it's a great hub to, it's a, it must be a, such a vibrant place to be where it's all just kicking off. Yes, it, it really is. And like, they really encourage that um, collaboration across like um, media, you know, mm -hmm. which is so cool. Um, I think that's what creative arts is about, really, isn't it? Like it is. Do you still uh, meet up with your old classmates? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm good friends with a lot of them, so it's cool to see what how everyone's going. What about the band? Because last time you were here, you had a band. Is that s band still the same, and where did, where, where did you meet them? So, yeah, the band is still the same. It's been the same. For, so, like, we kind of formed um, the start of last year, mm -hmm. um, and most of the band I've actually been mates with for since high school we were we all played together throughout high school um awesome and then picked up a couple new members down here in wellington yeah. but yeah it's, it's great so um so lucky to be able to play with mates for such a long time it's such a cool um fun thing to do all right yeah. now you, uh of course uh, you are all heading on tour very shortly yes all right we're going to talk about the tour in just a minute maybe we can do another song and then we'll get into some more details as to what is happening now yes. and up and coming too cool 
tonight. This next one's called uh, Sweet Sixteens. <laughs> on the line My thoughts are intertwined Thinking about you in another line I forgot where I am and I cry Sweet my kisses to the side of night Let my wishes burn down by the line Honey, I fell by crystal light in the New York time we were spending our nights down by the waterline. We were watching sweet sixteens pass the day by. Love is aching, my heart isn't working. I'm saying words cause I can't even face it. My God, I broke my own liver oh, sweet my kisses to the side of night let my wishes burn down by the land honey I fell by crystal light in the New York Time. We spend the nights down by the waterline. We watch in sweet sixteens pass the dead by. Run, run, run to the, run to the sea. And run to the, run to the sea. Run to the, run to the sea. Run, run, run to the, run to the sea. Sweep my kisses to the side tonight. Let my wishes burn down by the line. Honey, you fell by crystal light in the New York time. We were spending the nights down by the waterline We were watching sweet sixteen pass the day by Wow Dude, it's playing the stingling <laughs> Your voice is amazing Oh, thank you so much It's, um, it's, it's, it's sweet yet rough it's 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 like a chainsaw made of chocolate. <laughs> tasty. <laughs> Very tasty. tasty. <laughs> um it can cut through the night. Yeah. The darkest <laughs> of night. Um fascinating. I, I, when did you discover that you could sing like this? Um oh. it, or and is it something that you trained? I mean I I ha I've had lessons in the past but yeah. I, I I think the lessons were pretty shit. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they really like offered me much in, in terms of the way I sing. I think it's just been something I've kind of worked out over time. Like, I guess the more you sing, the more you kind of get to know your own voice. Yep. Um, I think that's something that's kind of happened with me. Like, 
I've also definitely changed a lot over the years, but I think I've come to a place now where I'm happy. Is, is there anything that you do, um, you practice, or any, is, it, is there an exercise that you do, or do you gargle razor blades <laughs> to, to give it the ass people angle? Um, no, no, no. My, um, I probably take pretty care, poor, my <laughs> <laughs> um, care of my voice, but um, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it just is. Yeah. Well, you've been yeah. blessed, mate. Cheers. I, I can, Thank you. you know, uh, every now and then you come across a very specific and very unique voices, and I think you got one of those. And oh, thank you. I think it's just a matter of time before the rest of the world um, discovers um, what you can do with it. Oh. And I think we're just beginning to discover what you can do with it as well. Uh, now, of course, uh, and here you are. Uh, you are going to let a whole bunch of other people discover. You've, you've toured before, though, haven't you? No, I actually no, haven't. Really? This is... um. First tour. So this can't be the first time you're hitting the road. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You mean you've been you've been keeping this a secret in Wellington for this long? Yeah, well we've played shows, um we've played a lot of support shows and a lot of shows with other people, yep. but this is kind of our first um true headline show, which is really exciting. Well done. Yeah. Now you're doing a few dates uh here in Wellington tomorrow night, yes. September the sixth at Pep Meow. Um fifteen dollars from just the ticket dot com. Uh, who's uh, do you have anyone supporting yes. tomorrow evening? Tell us about um, t- tell us about the evening, the breakdown, the so proceedings. Um, starting the night off is um, General Vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, he's he's playing with a full band. He's he's very cool. Um, interesting mix of R and B kind of beats and um, really unique vocals. So it should be really cool. A opening u- an evening of unique vocals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. This is his first. First show with his full band, I believe, as well. So that's um, yep. exciting for him. So that's going to be really cool. Wellington, we, we are going to witness a whole bunch of firsts. And this is, of course, the first uh, show of the tour yes. as well. Correct. Uh, anyone else playing support? No, so it's just two of us. Yep, yep. just two. Yep. Uh, that's pretty good. 15 bucks. Um, how's the ticket sales going? I actually have no idea. I'm a bit nervous, really. Um, is, it, is, is it something that you look into? We worry about, or do you leave that to your manager? Are you self-managed? I do have a manager. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Leave it to management. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I think. I think um, there might be a few door sales, so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Taking it easy now. Yeah. Uh, you've got a brand new release. Uh, it's called Rice, a single. Yes. Uh, not to be confused with the food. <laughs> it's spelled completely different. <laughs> we are talking about ascending. <laughs> um, what's the song about? Um, why is this the? N- why is this the single? And is this the first single? Why is this the single? Um, well, it's well, let's start with what's the song about. It's, um, the song is it's, it's it's about a lot of things. It's, mm-hmm. it's kind of a lot of mixed messages in the song. Um, it's about making bread, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but I think the overall kind of theme within the song is kind of about um, rising out of like norms and societal expectations of what is expected to be normal and what is what is kind of placed upon us to be like. Um, the thing, the right thing to do, mm-hmm. and it's kind of about finding your own path and rising above all these other expectations and things in our world. Kind of like when you're supposed to know what you're supposed to do straight out of school and you don't. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. you're supposed to find your way, yeah. and it's still yeah. very difficult. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and um, I mean, you're following your dream, so I, um, I'm guessing you're doing it right. Trying to, trying, trying to. to. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so the single is uh, from the debut EP. Well, possibly. Mm-hmm. I'm unsure whether this this single will be on the EP. Oh, but it it might just be a standalone kind of um, single. But mm-hmm. the debut um, or the second EP is actually coming probably towards the start of next year. Now you released uh, before this race car. Yes, and uh, my first EP, Abandoned Adolescence. And because because the race car was the one that we were playing here at Radioactive One, it's the one that yeah. first sort of um, uh, got me into your sound and that voice. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and so why might this single not be in the album? I think, um, sonically, it might not fully align with what the, this next, um, project's going to kind of sound like overall. Mm -hmm. Um, so this song was kind of a bridge between the, the, my first, first EP and this next one. Right. Yes. And so how is that going, how, how do they differ? Um, I think it's kind of very much a production thing. Yep. Um, just, I'm starting to, been delving into the world of production a lot. Um, so I think just this next, um, EP will definitely just have a lot more 
production value and kind of um, less bandy. Still, still got the f- kind of band overall band sound, but I think it'll just be a bit more produced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So who? Um, so it is your band. So y- I guess you get you. You're the boss, man. You get yeah. to tell the drummer when. <laughs> how many? How yeah. many fours? Yeah, yeah. Um, how many in the band? There's six of us. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So that's uh, and they're all playing tomorrow night. Yes. That's a that's a big ensemble to take on the road. Yeah. Is everyone going on the road with you? Yeah. So it's going to be a tight squeeze in the van. <laughs> 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 just the one band. Just the one band. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, does that mean that you've had to strip it back a little in any way, shape, or form, or are you just uh, seeing? Everything has to fit. <laughs> um, well, hopefully most of the venues have like all the setup and the gear, so we're just kind of just packing in our sales and a few amps, and um, yep. should be able to fit in. It's going to be tight, but um, it's all part of fun. <laughs> um, so where are you headed? You're doing Wellington tomorrow and then doing Auckland and Tauranga on the 12th and the 13th. Yes. Uh, is it just a three-date tour for now? Yes. Yep. Um, thought we'd start small and just... Uh, and then what happens after this? Hitting the studio? Yeah, so after this, it'll be just a matter of um, kind of finishing up this um, EP, getting it ready. Yeah. And, and what what plans do you have for summer? For summer, nothing kind of um, locked in at the moment. I think it'll just be a very big period of um, writing for me. And um, yep. yeah, because I liked I'll be going home for summer to the Coromandel, so it'll be um, nice to kind of just retreat and kind of write music, swim. Mm-hmm. Relax. I'm wondering, of course, um, when this a new project will be finished. When is it released? When can we expect to hear it, see it, experience it? Um, nothing confirmed at this stage, but yeah. definitely, I think the aim is early, early 2020. Yeah, on, yeah. The, on the pipeline. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep your ears peeled. Keep us, yeah. uh, keep us posted here, Radioactive Auto yes. Would, uh, of course, love to keep people. Uh, up to date with uh, that project and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are looking forward to it as much as I am yes. uh, yeah. 21 minutes past 12 here on the Amplifier show we've got Solomon Crook of course uh, serenading us with beautiful songs he's got a gig happening tomorrow at Meow and you can still purchase tickets just the ticket in Z.com $15 cheapest chips to move your hips coming in with full band and backing up band whose odds are quite large um, <laughs> uh, I think we've got time for one I think we have to play the single uh, and um, anything that you'd like to add uh, with regards to the event or anyone that you'd like to thank for helping you getting where you are today so far? Um, the event, um, no, I think you've covered it all pretty much. There'll be CDs for sale as well for five bucks. So if you bring a 20 buck note, you've got it all covered. Nice. Um, but other than that, no. Hope to see some friendly faces there. Any, any thoughts of maybe doing the cassette or the vinyl i know it's a bit expensive but we can press vinyl here in one in, in up in auckland now yeah yeah so definitely had the thought but um yeah i think it might come in a l- little later stage but yeah. i'd definitely love to you got plenty vinyl. of time you, you, I, c- I keep thinking you've been here for ages but you haven't it's only been a couple of years and yeah, it's yeah. you know some of these things take a little bit of time and then just they take off which i can imagine this is what's going to happen um do just keep on doing it how you're doing it at your pace because that's the only one that counts mm. you know don't race Thank against you. anyone else just no. uh race against yourself yeah, yeah basically and i think you got it sus you're going to go back home and get uh, get creative and mm. uh, put your feet up and write some more awesome songs mm. uh look forward to them mate Thanks. uh should we do the song sounds good all right take it away this one's called rise <laughs> She told me I was just a little sinner But I am kind of desperate to be in high What is your name for God's sake? Give me a break Tell me it's Lucy and I'll break Every rule that I've made She got a cigarette in hand Like she's rolling up with cash Clothes from the trash She's looking hella flash Bag full of bags Yeah, she's selling out the bag I know she's bad Yes, yeah, she's bad for me like kerosene to a wildfire On a summer's eve, touch of her hand makes me scream 
And the flinch of her lips makes me cream She wants you royals To meet me at the gates of hell A sucker for sin And we all fought in the end So let me be Just like a picture In the magazine Fake smile cities Sit won't you smile on three I'm not why Just a boy for your mass confusion A liberator to this big illusion Oh, won't you rise To meet me at the gates of hell Oh, won't you I'm a sucker for sin And we all fucked in the end Rise 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 Oh rise Oh Call Quentin Tarantino because that song needs to be a movie. <laughs> I don't know how, why, but that just, oh, I just kept on getting some crazy flashbacks of Quentin Tarantino <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. while I, we were playing that. I hear it, I hear it. Uh, um, wow, that's the new single, of course. Go and check it out tomorrow night, live and direct at Meow. Uh, Solomon Crook, is that a, uh, the single is out now, uh, as you were saying, also available on CD uh, at the gig. Uh, any other uh, digital uh, or uh, ma uh, streaming platforms is yes. it available on? Check it out on Spotify, Apple Music, all the, oh, any of them really. It's mm -hmm. all there. You'll be able to find it. Going to be playing with full five-piece band tomorrow, of course, and showcasing songs from the debut EP, Abandoned at uh, Ado Adolens uh, Adolescence. Adolescence. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want to do that one. Uh, also, of course, uh, being uh, supported by General Vibe and Full Band as well, all coming to Meow tomorrow night. Good people, 15 bucks to go and check it out. Local talent as they're blazing their way uh, in their own time, making their own thing and sounding magnificent. The Rice Tour, Solomon Crook, and Meow tomorrow night. Do not miss out, good people. This is going to be um, a very special night, I reckon. Solomon, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And, Cheers, and all the best for the tour. I'm sure you're going to smash it. Cheers. Thank you. Here with the Amplify Show, we'll take a little break. Activity coming up right after this.